correction of the forehead in trigonocephaly. At birth, the skull is composed of separate skull bones that are connected with skull sutures. The sutures are the growing sites of the skull. When the frontal or metopic suture is prematurely closed, no growth can occur in between the two bones of the forehead. As a result, the forehead becomes wedge-shaped and narrow, with the eyes set closely together. During the procedure, a skin incision is made on top of the head, running from ear to ear. This way, the skull can be exposed. The zigzag pattern is made for better coverage of the scar with hair. The surgeon makes a few burring holes to detach the bone from the meninges underneath. The bones of the forehead are removed. Because the orbits are also abnormally shaped, the upper orbital rims are also taken off. The upper orbital rims are remodelled by removing the ridge in the midline and by bending the side parts. After this correction, the rims are replaced. The bones of the forehead are flipped from right to left and from left to right. This way, a round contour of the forehead is achieved that aligns with the upper orbital rims. All pieces of bone are fixed with the use of resorbable sutures. The skin is also closed with resorbable sutures.